today we are going to make a juicy, gooey, delicious summertime cheesesteak sandwich that you can make right in your home using these simple ingredients over here. Just eight ounces of shaved beef, a eight to nine inch ciabatta roll or however long you'd like, a few slices of cheese, American cheese, a bell pepper, but any color you'd like, a few slices of onion, a few stalks of celery here, a little garlic aioli mustard just to coat the ciabatta rolls, and of course, avocado oil to stir fry it. Now, I like to use avocado oil myself, it has a nice high smoke point. Get that pow right on the vegetables right as you're cooking it. All right, and the equipment. So you're going to need a toaster oven to cook those ciabatta rolls just to that perfect golden brown, a large wok or pan to stir fry the peppers and onions and the beef, and of course, a nice pair of tongs. Every good chef needs one. To get rid of the seeds here in the pepper. Put the remainder of the pepper like so. Nice, easy strokes. You wanna make sure you have a very sharp knife. So for the onion, we just need a few slices here, maybe about a centimeter apart. A couple slices, boom, and like that. And then once, right in the middle, right in half. Take maybe three, four, five, however many stalks of green onion you'd like. I'm just gonna take off the ends right here. Boom, like that. And then we are going to cut them into about, oh, I'd say about one to two inch batons. So, and there you have it. We have the green onion and we'll set those aside for later. You're gonna take your ciabatta roll and we're gonna just gonna cut it right in half and then one lengthwise sandwich style. When you're cutting your bread, you wanna make sure you have a nice, good bread knife. I personally use this Victory Knox one. Excellent, cuts well, perfect every time. All right, now that we have all of our ingredients prepared, we're ready to cook. All right, so first step, we're gonna pop the ciabatta rolls into the toaster oven for about 10 minutes. You'll need to watch it to make sure it turns crispy golden brown, but not too much. You don't want to burn it. Okay, now we're ready to cook. We are just going to go ahead and fire up our wok, get it nice and hot, and then begin by stir frying the onion and the peppers in just about a tablespoon of avocado oil. After that's stir frying for about a minute, we're gonna to want to throw in our eight ounces of shaved beef, make sure it's nice and cooked. You can also add a little bit of cracked pepper if you so choose. Once that starts to look nice and golden and cooked, you're gonna add your American cheese slices. Just layer them really nicely over the filling and leave it. All right, so let's check on our ciabatta rolls. They've got that nice crispy golden brown. It's nice soft and fluffy, crispy on the outside. They're perfect. So we're just gonna pull these off. Come on over here. All right, next, I'm just gonna spread a Thin coat of garlic aioli mustard, not too much. This stuff is really strong. Just about that much like so. And then we're going to go ahead and put our filling right on top. Okay, our filling is nice and ready, good to go. This is gonna be good, I can already tell. Now, we're gonna come over to the filling here. Just gonna layer it nicely right on top here, just on both sides. Bit of the peppers there, perfect. All right, and now for the best part, the tasting. Mmm, oh wow. There you have it. Nice, easy, homemade cheese steak you can use with simple ingredients you can just buy in the supermarket. Okay, but wait, for those of you who are trying to avoid bread, I've got a nice little alternative. Just take a few leaves of romaine lettuce here, lay them down, and you can add the filling and 
create a nice lettuce wrap. Mm, just as tasty, yet a little bit healthier. Okay, there you have it. Easy cheesesteak sandwich two ways. If you like this video, remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more great videos. All right, see you next time.